I am absolutely delighted to be sat with brand new Port Vale Club President, Mr. Robbie Williams. Hello. Now, what do I officially call you now? Surely there's got to be some title that we have to like call you as, as club president, your presidency. Do you know, as I'm sat here thinking about it, I know that Ben Kingsley, if you say, if you call him Ben, he says, no, Sir Ben. Like, he, he, he makes you call him Sir Ben. And I've always thought, what a tosser. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and now I'm thinking about it. I, I think that people should call me Mr. President. And at, at, at backstage with my band now, I'm Mr. President, El Presidente. I don't know, it's gone to my head already. That's that's good though. That's 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 what comes with the with the title of club president. It's it's a huge honour to, to be club president. There's only one other club president as well, and it's a man whose team you would have watched on the pitch just out there, Mr. John Rudge. Oh, me and John Rudge. You and John Rudge. It's an exclusive club. That's fully, fully mental. Fully, <laughs> fully mental. My life is bizarre and wonderful and has taken many turns and twists and um, to find myself from the railway paddock to be El Presidente is pretty special. El Presidente, a suite named after you as well. Yeah. We're going to have to get you like a, like a gold staff lanyard that just gives you access to everything. I'm sure that's what you get. When you greet me, can you call me El Presidente? Absolutely, I won't call you anything else. No, but you can, and then you can call me Rob. So it'll be... But a greeting and the goodbyes. Hello, Mr. El Presidente, mm -hmm. and goodbye, El Presidente, in between Rob. It would just rob, just rob in between, but most yeah. of those things. Do we curtsy? Do we bow? No. Just no, just our president. Just the shake of that, like a firm hand yeah, shake, yeah. And, and then we move on. Yeah. When you got the call that, or when you were told you're going to be club president, how does that feel? You mentioned that you were sat in the paddock, <laughs> and then this happens again. Doesn't happen to many people to to get like an honour like that at their football club. Yeah, I I, I just think that you know with. With Carol and family turning up to Port Vale, if it hadn't have been for them, none of this would be happening. You know, um, football clubs are are run by people with certain characters, and um, the reason why I hadn't come back up to Port Vale in the longest time was, um, you know, I never met the characters that ran the place, but it felt like they were your normal run-of-the-mill football directors and um, it didn't feel very loving and it didn't feel very homely and it didn't feel very welcoming. It felt as though there was a lot of dissension everywhere. And then, you know, Carol and her family come in, revitalize, change the place. And I noticed that this was happening from afar and thought that's incredibly interesting. And it sort of, got me to reinvest first interest and then meeting the family and coming and seeing what was going on, investing my heart back into the club. And um, yeah, to be president on the top of that, it feels as though, you know, I need to be doing more in and around this place. Well, you already fly the flag for, for Port Vale and Burslem and Stoke-on-Trent around the world. There's now the added pressure of Al Presidente Al to Presidente. go with it. You, you, that, that, is, that has to be your new personality. Let, That's let, it. Let the good times roll. Uh, well, Al Presidente, yeah. uh, thank you so much for, <laughs> for sitting down with me. I, I appreciate it as a, as a mere mortal staff member of your, uh, of your new kingdom. Yeah. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure thank to you. sit down with you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Al Presidente. Gracias, amigos. It's going to be weird having Ida call me our president, isn't it? <laughs>